Yes, uh, first I want to congratulate Andy uh, with uh, reaching the top of the Kilimanjaro together with Robo, a uh, big achievement and so for raising money for the Manchester United Foundation, so a uh, big achievement and uh, uh, from our side big congrats and um, uh, enjoy it as well and as I say I think it's really for a good, um, good target and uh, hopefully uh, yeah, hopefully it will be follow up and buy a lot of money for this uh, charity. Okay. Thank you, Eric. Thank you. Why don't you give us the first question, Andy? Well, mountains is a big climb, yeah. No. Mountains, um, yeah. What, what makes you think you can still succeed at, at Manchester United, Eric? What, what are you seeing that your critics might might be missing? Oh, also we have to climb a mountain. And that, but that is top football, and sometimes you have to face challenges. But um, and sometimes it goes up, sometimes it goes down. And but I'm sure we will make it a success, um, as we did the last two seasons. We make it success, and um, I think uh, we are uh, we are in a direction underneath. I see the good things. I see underneath. I see good patterns, and I see also uh, the good stats. What confirms that we are in a good direction, but of course the ranking is not lying. Uh, we are where we are and that's not good enough. Eric, first of all, obviously you can see positives, but there's always a lot of noise around your position, certainly at the start of this international break. Did you feel the need to seek any assurances about your position? No, uh, the noise is only coming from the media, from you guys. Uh, for some of you, let's say this, not all of you, but some of you. Uh, who. Uh, uh, br uh, bringing up stories, creating stories, creating fairy tales, um, making the noise, bringing lies, uh, because I know uh, we are on one page in this club. I told this before the break. I told s several journalists, uh, probably they didn't, they don't, be they didn't believe me, uh, because um, uh, I see the reports, but internal in the club, it's quiet. Of course, we, uh, we are discussing. Uh, in the position where we are and that we are unhappy with the position where we are and how we have to turn the corner and what has to happen and so what should be the strategy to turn this corner but ultimately uh, we are quiet we are composed uh, uh, we stay where we are we stick to the plan and uh, we are very convinced we will make it a success. When you're looking to turn the corner, it doesn't help when you get injuries and you have to deal with a lot last season. So what's the situation with Maserawi, Mainu and Maguire and the, the time scales for them? I definitely they will not help, that is that is for sure. And you need players available to to perform. So that is one one point we have to change in this club. But uh, then to this point actual is that um, Kobe and Harry they are out for a couple of weeks. And uh, Masrawi, it's a good news, He's, uh, he, he faced an illness, but he returned on the training pitch and he's available for selection for tomorrow. Hi Eric, um, just to ask you, I went to Manchester United, we saw Thomas Tuchel come in as the England manager, he faced him twice last year as a Bayern Munich head coach. What do you make of that point? I think very good choice <laughs> from, from the FA. He's a top class manager, proved himself um, uh, creating uh, top teams, creating uh, teams who will who win, and uh, England didn't win so much, uh, didn't win since 1966. So I think it's a very good appointment to uh, to get a win because England has uh, world class players, uh, make it a team, and uh, they have the opportunity to win. Uh, big championships, the Euros or the World Cup. Eric, you've had some problems at left back for a while because of injuries and unavailabilities. Can you just say what is the situation with Shaw and Ty Tyrell Malassi? Are they going to be back anytime soon? Yeah, they are back, but we can't force their return and we have to do it very careful because also we don't want to have a return and then quickly drop out. So we, we do it very careful 
but of course we hope to do it as soon as possible because uh, this team needs a left fullback. That's also for sure. Just on, on the game as well, you, um, Christian Eriksen, you signed him from, from Brentford. He's become a really important figure again this season um, when it looked like perhaps his career might have been winding down slightly. What's the, the key to the change that he's now become so important pretty much every week? Uh, this, he uh, faced some, some injuries uh, um, in the first year, but th then already he was very important. Um, and as well as last season, but then also coming up uh, Kobe. But then lately, yeah, he, he proved himself um, in the team and together with Kobe, and it can be a very good couple. Um, uh, unlucky now, uh, it's, it's fell apart for the coming weeks, but it's, it's clear. Um, he has a good season so far. He's important for the team with his contribution in linking. Um, uh, key passes, um, uh, be creative, uh, composed and calm, and yeah, very happy with his performances so far in the season. Sorry. Eric, how much um, have you got to try and take the pressure off the players? Obviously, if you're in 14th, every game is, right, if you lose it, it's a, it's a disaster because the club's not in a great position. But also, Benny McCarthy said that you see a lot last season players doing well in training and then on a match day it didn't happen, which presumably is to do with pressure as well. How, how much have you got to take that off the player? <clears throat> uh, I, I think the players do well. <laughs> we, we won last season. Um, maybe you forgot. And of course, uh, when we face problems, then also we had. Yeah, sometimes we have to uh, line up teams uh, who were not in the right balance uh, because the players were not available. But I think, in general, uh, the players uh, do perform well. And what we see now, yeah, we have to. Uh, to start scoring eh, in that part, but of course it's the most important part of football. If you want to win games, you have to score goals. And in that part, uh, we have to improve. Uh, we are uh, entering the final third, we are entering the box, we are coming in good positions to score. And uh, now we have to step up the last step, but the most important step, uh, to net. 